Hello again, everybody. The next car that you've selected to view on none other than ClassicMuscleCars.com is a new old arrival. This car has been in inventory for a while, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get to it to do the video, and Jeremy kind of helped out with it and did it. So now I'm coming in and doing my part talking about the car. We had to do some work to it, which we do with all of our cars. It's now here. It's now done. It's now ready to sell. And I'm telling you what, it's a gorgeous 55 two-door hard top Bel Air. This car has got a big block in it, a 427, 380 horse, 385 horse, factory 427 motor. And it's a stock motor. It's not anything radical. You can run it on pump gas. It won't be a problem. But you know what? Doing a big block conversion on these cars is very difficult to do. You don't see a lot of 55, 56, or 57s with big block stuff down in it. You don't have a lot of room in the back of the firewall, and it's kind of difficult to get the engine, motor mounts, and everything to line up. This car has been done right. There isn't a problem there, and it was shoehorned in there properly, and it's just awesome. Jeremy's going to show you under the hood. You'll see. Beautiful job on a conversion of putting a big block in a 55 Chevy. Now, the other cool thing that I like about this car, it's got a shifter that looks like a four-speed, but it's an old-style uh, shifter that they used to have in the 60s and early 70s and they're making reproductions of those today for automatic cars that goes on the floor it looks like a four-speed shifter so when you look at the car at first glance it's like oh you just walk by and you see the the shifter in the boot it looks like a four-speed but actually it's an automatic so that's cool you get an automatic shifter with a four-speed look now it's setting on eight inch rallies it's got uh, not flat center caps but it's got spinner caps on it with the chevy uh... cross flags or i should say racing cross flags on it and uh... all the chrome and stainless on this car is in, in good very good to excellent the bumpers have been replated uh, all of this stainless at one time or another has been worked on, so it's been replaced or it's been rebuffed. So it's all, it had attention to some detail in it to get the car into the condition that it's in. You will see a lot of these cars where they have nice paint, nice interior, but then they fall short on the stainless and the chrome end of it. Everything on the car here has had attention to it to where it's all clean, there's not pitting, uh, there's not dings and dents all over it, and it is in good, very good, and excellent condition. The paint on it, base coat, clear coat, beautiful, bright, bright red. It just blows your eyes out. We're in here uh, under the sunlight in the afternoon with the sun above us and you can see just the beautiful shine on this car. Uh, my detail people worked on this car for quite a while to get this high luster into this car. And Jeremy, you can probably see, and Jeremy will show you when he goes around, you can see the brilliance and the shine uh, picked up from the sunlight of how we work this car. We do a, a process here that we finish up with a foam pad that actually melts the paint because we, we run it at about 3800 RPM in order to get the paint that flash, that wet, silky smooth look, and that's the way this car is. It's just gorgeous. You can take your hand, you can rub it on it, and uh, you can put your face over here and you can shave in it. It's that kind of paint. It's beautiful. Uh, the glass in the car, it's got some older glass in it. This is original back here. It does have a, a few areas on it down low. This is the old safety glass to where they had two panes of glass and they had like a glue in the center and you can see some of the glue trying to separate down here. The glass isn't, it's just from age you're going to get that. Uh, some of these cars get this all replaced but they're not going to have original glass so most of it's original glass that's in here. The window frames on 55, 56 and 57 Chevys are pop metal. That's kind of a critical area with these cars because a lot of these pop metal frames that hold the windows in it, the glass in it, they get pitted and it's very hard to get that pitting out of it. If you have it replated, you have to go over it and over it and over it to replate it. And what happens with pop metal if you have too much pitting in it, it just disintegrates. So it's very hard for a replater to be able to do it. Uh, this is in excellent condition. I would, I, I don't know for sure if this is uh, original to the car. Car, but it is not a recent redone uh, uh, replating and it is not a reproduction uh, uh, frame. 
So everything on this car, as far as that's concerned, looks to me like it's an original and it's in good, very good condition. Some of it excellent. Uh, some of the uh, stainless around here, like the rocker panel uh, stainless, that's all been replaced. Uh, the side uh, trim moldings here, that's been replaced. Uh, most of this in here, some of this has been pulled off and rebuffed. Now, when you get up here to um, the uh, gutter molding, and that's, and that's something I want to talk about. A lot of times people don't tell you about things like this, but this is kind of cool. Uh, Jeremy, if you'll show them, when I shut this door, you'll see this piece of stainless come down. See that? Yep, okay. Now, what that is 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 a good thing because this is your gutter molding. When the rain comes down, it's supposed to channel it off the car like this. That's why it's here. That's why you have gutter molding on cars. But on these particular cars, there is so much surface that you're still got a possibility when you open this door that you're going to get rain on you. So what this does is when you open this, it comes up like so and it still protects you from getting some of the rain off of you. So that's a really one more time. That's a real cool thing. See it pop up there? Push it down, open the door and the light goes on. <laughs> so that's some of the cool things about 55, 56, 57 Chevys and uh, this this is in great working condition because I've had some of these that don't work quite that well. So uh, for the age of the car and some of the original parts that are in it, it's in very good, excellent shape. Now this car came out of Oklahoma. It's got a super drive body on it. These are X-membered frame cars, and what you have to look for in all 55, 6, or 57 Chevys, uh, pretty much is when that X-member frame, it, if you picture an X, in the center is the platform of these cars. And what happens is that the bottoms of these frames, they get water in them. They, they get driven on the roads, they get water that goes up in there and it sits or they get condensation and it sits. So it's a real critical area on all of these cars that you have to look for. I've seen these cars to look beautiful on the exterior and the bottom of the car was like Swiss cheese. So that's a real critical area, the X-member frames, which ran through the mid-50s and the early 60s on the Impalas and so forth. So that's something you really got to look for. This car is excellent. Very clean Oklahoma car. Never had any of those issues. Uh, it's just a fine automobile. It's a great driving car. It stops, steers, brakes, does everything that it's supposed to do. Uh, the interior in it's been redone. It has a two-tone black and gray interior. It matches real good with the red. So the car is an outstanding 55. It's an outstanding car also because of the fact that it has a big block transplanted in it and they did a great fantastic job. Now I want to turn you over to Jeremy. He's going to give you a go around of this beautiful 55. Give that a call at 847-526-5950. He can give you some more photographs and some more information about this beautiful 55 Tudor hardtop Bel Air 427 powered. There's Ron checking out the uh 55 here. Sleep. Wait, stay right there. Don't move. Stealth fighter. There, there's Ron in, in the bumper, in the bumper, reflected in the bumper there. Almost as good as the original. That, that's, that's some incredible chrome on that bumper. When can right? you buy a car that has stealth technology? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's, it's got the stealth right there on the hood. Oh, darn close to it. Very true. Let's go for a walk around. We did this once before, but now this thing is incredibly cleaned up from the last time I did a video on this car. Absolutely beautiful. And there I am. That is fire engine red, boy. Today is a great day to check it out. Okay, let's go for a look on the inside. Thank you. We appreciate your part, your patronage. As you can see, it's absolutely beautiful inside here. Headliner is looking great. This is a vinyl gray, black backed interior. 
the impala on the speaker there. Under the thank you mat, we have a bow tie. And yes, even though we have that nice looking shifter there, there is no clutch. Let's have a look. On the odometer, 86862.9. And this is one where they've done the gauges in the dash. You have your oil pressure, water temperature. There's a little tack over there. And a clock. Let's start it up. Let's get the key going here. And it's been sitting in this position for several hours. They just kicked right over. Of course, it's a beautiful day out, too. Factory AM. Let's go for a look in the trunk. Then we'll go for a look under the hood. Oh, that looks like a stock original 1955 Space Saver Spare. Well, maybe not. Okay. But in the meantime, it's kind of nice back here. Very nice. Can we get a look under here? Nice. Extremely clean. Nice. Soft seal on the trunk. It's looking and feeling quite good. Now let's get a look under the hood. Put the keys back. Where is it? I think that's it. Oh yeah. Looking under here, a very nicely transplanted 427. Manual brakes, manual steering. It has an alternator. It has HEI. It's got an electric fan. Nicely shoehorned in there, as Tony said. Stock exhaust on it. It's a good running car. And nicely done underneath also. And there I am. I look a lot shorter in the chrome. Nineteen fifty five. 427 Chevy shoebox.